Hey there, today we're going to talk about the millionaire mindset and three huge mistakes people make in their thinking as they try to pursue their own business with that entrepreneur mindset and lifestyle change. Now, I'm going to give you a disclaimer here. I take i took a lot of these thoughts from robert kiyosaki he is the guy that wrote the book rich dad a poor dad i after i've read that book that is the day that i thought i have done my entire life wrong i wish i had had this book in my hands back when i was 20 years old or even 15 years old so that i understood what our culture is doing to us to keep us poor. And so I am not giving you a link to go buy that book so I make a commission. I will put the name of the book and the name of the author below and go get that book if you haven't read it yet. So I wanna put a disclaimer there because absolutely, I didn't come up with this stuff because I would be a multimillionaire by now if I had. But I definitely follow him, definitely have, um, taken on a lot of his thoughts and i'm definitely fighting against what the culture has taught us and and actually trying to get my kids to to come on board as well i don't even have my book because i probably gave it to one of the kids and bought everybody else one as well but let's um go from there and my second thing i am outside today this is southern ohio and it is so beautiful out today and it's actually um the weather here changes daily it'll either be cold or it'll be raining it'll be sunny and it's fall right now as i'm doing this video and one of the negative things about living in the country is you have all these little ladybugs flying around and i was just telling my husband about a week ago i said oh here it is you know usually we get this in september and i said here it is it's september and we don't have all these bugs flying around maybe we're gonna miss it well i came outside today it's the end of october and they're flying all over the place. So if you see me swatting them, that's what that is. They're just these little ladybugs. It's what they do this time of year. They go crazy <laughs> and try to hibernate and uh, they're doing their thing. It's a sunny day. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the things Robert talks about is that every there's four different mindsets in general. He's got them in four different categories. And one mindset is I must win. The next one is I must be right. You've met people like that, right? And the next one is I might, I must be light. People like that um, will not make good entrepreneurs. They, they try to stay safe all the time. I must be light. And then the last one is I must be comfortable. They don't make good entrepreneurs either. So you probably have one of the two mindsets. If you're looking to be my, um, an entrepreneur, you, I must, win or I must be right. Probably the ones who say I must win are the ones that don't give up, highly driven, and they see the light at the end of the tunnel and they stay focused. Now, those are the mindsets, but even though you might have an entrepreneur mindset, maybe you felt all your life like, I, I just feel something inside of me. I feel like there's something different. I don't feel like I fit in. And you've been trying different things. I have felt that way all my life. Like people have told me I'm crazy because I would try different things, but I just knew there was something different. I didn't fit that cookie cutter lifestyle of going to work from nine to five and, and clocking in. And it's not that I don't like to work. I love to work. What was discouraging was I don't like my time to be wasted. I don't like to have to clock in somewhere and then somebody else tell me, give me my job to do, and then I get it done, and then I get in trouble because I went too fast. I lost a job once because I went too fast. Um, I got hired on at Ivy Tech. It was a college, and it was I was in my early 20s just trying to you know go out and get some different jobs. I didn't have a degree yet. I went later to college, and I'll never forget, um, they hired me to do a job. I had to clean out this great big huge books closet or something and the lady hired me she said now this is a temporary job it'll probably take about three months we've got a budget to pay you and I'm like oh great you know I was all excited I had the job knocked out in a week and a half now I didn't understand that you were supposed to go slow and just take your time and being confident I wasn't like that so I basically worked myself out of a job in that situation because they didn't have anything else to give me even though they had money for three months so just as an example I don't I just hate uh, being incompetent. I hate having to sit somewhere and wait, wait for the clock. I remember my first teaching job was in the classroom in Southern Indiana is where I lived at the time. And I remember I would work at home and at night I'd have all my papers graded. I'd have all my planning done. Um, every night before I left my job, everything was on the desks. I, I taught in a special ed classroom, a lot of learning disabled kids. So I had everything, you know, everybody was individualized, 26 kids. I had it all. I mean, it was crazy what I had done. And I remember, you know, 315, I was done and we weren't supposed to leave until 3.30 and I just left a couple times. I thought I'm an adult, you know, I got my work done. I have stuff I do at home. What's the big deal? Oh my goodness, the union came after me. So 
things like that, that I just, it just doesn't make sense. These rules, rules that don't make sense. I can't stand it. So I, I, I had that drive, but here's three mistakes. Okay. That, that people make one is people who do not have a millionaire mindset are working for money. And that's one of the mistakes I always made. I was always looking for another job. I was always looking to make more money, but I wasn't making for, I wasn't looking for a way to not have to make money. Does that make sense? Millionaires, and this is what Robert said, he goes, I always wanted to reach a point in life where I didn't have to earn a paycheck and I could still do what I loved. And I thought, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. And all my life I've been like, okay, I got this job. It's not making enough money. I got to go get another job. Oh, and then I got to go add another job. And then before you know it, all my time was taken. Yes, I have, I've always had flexibility. I've always been good at doing two or three things at a time, but there was always that ceiling of income and I was always doing it for the wrong reason. So millionaire, people with millionaire mindsets do not work for the paycheck. So really, if you have been, stop thinking that way. And think about that moment when you're gonna reach a time in your life where you're not working for a paycheck and you're, you're doing something because you're trying to learn a skill or you're trying to help a cause and that's why you're doing it or you're doing something for somebody else, but you're not doing it to earn a paycheck. And I know that's really hard, um, especially if you're a hard worker, but that is one huge mistake people make not thinking like a millionaire. And one of the sad things is that usually when people naturally start, get it, they get into that position or they naturally start thinking that way is by the time they're in their seventies. And it's really sad that we have taught our younger generation and I fell into it where you have to go to school, you've got to go to college and then you get in debt. Now my debt wasn't as bad, but now the debt is horrendous that kids get into. And we all thought that was the path to having a career and making money. And one of the sad things is along that path is I remember thinking, oh, I'm done with college. I don't have to ever go again. My kind of in the back of my mind, I was thinking I was done learning and now I can get out there and make money. And life doesn't really work that way. You have to keep learning. You learn until the day you drop dead. Keep learning. You never stop. And that's something that we're not taught to do. Um, we're just taught that we have to go through these motions and get these degrees and go in debt. And then you're in debt so bad you're working the rest of your life trying to get out. It just, our culture is working against us. The mindset is to get a paycheck and then to put enough money aside to retire. And it doesn't work. Do you see very many people? Now there are people that have done it that way, but they've invested some of their money and they're still not millionaires. Maybe they're comfortable, but what about becoming a millionaire and really having that mindset and, and having it young and not waiting until you're older? Now, if you are older, it's not too late. It's never too late. But let's look at another mistake people make with money, okay? If you want to have a millionaire mindset, don't do this. We think in our culture that... And what happens is when you work for passion, you're enjoying what you're doing. You're still caught up in, you're still caught up in thinking that you're, you're working for money. Think about it and you're enjoying it. So you stay and really a millionaire, having a millionaire mindset, you're going to do things that you hate to do because it takes a lot of work. And yes, eventually you can outsource things you hate to do, but in the beginning, you're the one man show. You're doing it all. And as you make some money, different areas, then you can start outsourcing. It's something that you're building. And that is a mistake that people make. They think if I'm doing something that I have passion for, then I'm gonna do this the rest of my life and I will be happy. Well, you're never gonna become a millionaire doing that. And you're probably thinking, well, what do you do that you hate? Well, one thing that I do all the time are my own taxes. I'm not a millionaire and don't, I'm not telling you that I am, but there's a lot of things I'm doing now to build my business, to become that millionaire. And I do my own taxes right now. I don't trust somebody else to do them. And even if somebody else does them, I got to save all the receipts and put them in the right files and all that anyway. So I do it. I don't go, oh, it's, it's February time to do taxes. I'm so excited. Um, I'm not, I mean, that's something I do. There's a lot of different parts of your business that you're going to have to do 
that you hate. You're going to have to pay for insurance. You're going to have to, if you're in the real estate business, you're going to have to go when somebody leaves and they destroy the place, you're going to have to go back and have it fixed and pay for it or do it yourself. There's so many things that you're going to have to do that you hate. But as a millionaire mindset, don't think you're doing it for passion. Don't do anything out of passion. Do it because you have to do it to, to get ahead. Okay. So that's number two. And number three, people who don't have a millionaire mindset will say things like, well, I just want to do it the safe way. I want to be comfortable. I'm fine where I'm at. I, I remember when, um, I've had people tell me that when, um, as another example, when I was, uh, I was exercising, losing lots of weight and trying to get all my friends on board. I mean, when you first lose a lot of weight, a lot of your friends will say, oh my gosh, what did you do? And I found it very interesting. Um, you know, I shared what I did with a lot of people. That's great. You know, some followed, some didn't, but I'll never forget one person came up to me and she was overweight and she goes, I don't want to lose weight. I'm very comfortable. And I thought, well, okay. And people are like that with their money. They're like, I don't need another job. I'm, I'm happy living off of what we have. And I, I never questioned that before, but when Robert started talking about it, thinking about it, think about this, are they really comfortable or are they just trying to take the safe path? Because when you become an entrepreneur and when you're looking for that millionaire path or journey, and that millionaire mindset, you're going to do things that are uncomfortable. And actually the more risk that you take, the higher your rewards can be. And people who do not take any risks and they want to stay comfortable or they want to take the safe path will never become a millionaire because they're not willing to take that risk. So those are three mistakes that people make. And if you want to have a millionaire mindset, one, definitely read his book because you will get so much more out of it. But number one, don't work for money. Okay. Find a different reason to work. And a lot of times it's because you want to change the world. You want to um, build a future for your children or your family. Think of the different reason of why you're doing what you're doing. It's kind of like find your why, but don't let your why be, I just want money and I want to be rich because money is not it's tangible and it can get you things, but it doesn't really have solid value. It's just a piece of paper. If you think about it, I could do a whole video about that too. Um, so you have to think about something that somebody can't take from you. Um, and it, and it could be changing your life, changing the life of your children and your family, changing the whole destiny of your entire, the next generation. So change that thought. Number two, do not just do something because you have a passion for it. And that's great if you love with you, what you do. And I'm sure you're going to love part of what you do. You might love how you're changing the world or love how you're changing other people's lives. But within that, also know that you're going to do things you hate to do. Okay. It's not always going to be, you know, f roses, you know, popping up and all happy. You're going to have to do, dig in and do things you don't like to do and you do it anyway. And then number three, don't follow the safe path. Don't be afraid to take risks because there's, it's proven that the more risks you take, the higher your wealth is going to be. And there's going to be times you might lose your money and there's going to be times you make mistakes, but that's how you learn and that's how you get better. So I hope this was helpful for you today. Um, ha just keep telling yourself, I want to have that millionaire mindset and to have it you're going to have to change who you are right now because right now you're probably working <laughs> there. They are the ladybugs. You're probably working in a job that's comfortable. And it's, I mean, my husband and I talk a lot of times about, um, you know, we, we've always done more than one thing. And what we're doing is we're chiseling off one job at a time or one project income at a time that isn't going to be passive and we're turning it into passive income. So we're kind of in that, that, um, mode of, of moving our energy over here and taking things off as we replace them. But we're working towards that path of becoming millionaires and that journey and taking those risks. So, um, definitely get the book. Number two, if you've never started a business again, I don't want you to think you're just going to get online and start selling affiliate products or, or getting into e-commerce or whatever. There's certain things you have to do to start a business. And I have a guide below. It's, it's free and it has 12 steps. What you need to do to start a business, any business, there's certain things you need to do to get started. And part of that is to get right with the government and get your taxes set up. Don't wait till the last minute. 
there are, you know, you do have to fill out certain forms and sometimes you're going to take a loss and then you start getting a profit. So you've got to track everything. And in there, I even added a little Excel sheet that I've made. It's very simple, but it gives you an idea of, of things that you have to track. Um, and actually my husband and I, every time we go do something, we write it down on a piece of paper, the date, you know, what we did that day. And I've got a little bucket next to my desk that we put it in and about every once a week or so I'll go in and then just track everything and, and stay on top of it. So there is a, a guide below. It's called the business startup guide, 12 steps. Get that. It's going to help you start your business. And I don't care what business you're going into. I do encourage you to do that. Take your life back, make a business for yourself that you don't have a ceiling on your income or an income ceiling on your life that you can make as much money as you want, but you have to learn the skills you have to put the work in okay so there you go get the business startup guide and get that book go to amazon rich dad poor dad everybody should have that book sitting right on their shelf all right thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the scenery today um i try to take you outside because it's i know it can get boring in there with that um gray screen behind me but uh hope, hopefully you enjoyed this a little bit more today and you get your business going and take your life back <laughs>